Today, let us see about three terms related with radiology, filters, collimators and grids. Let us see how and why they are used. First of all, what is filtration? An X-ray beam con consists of continuous spectrum of photons, that is, it has photons of all energy levels. If the photons having sufficient energy are able to penetrate through the anatomic structures, they reach the image receptors and they are useful. Low energy photons cannot reach up to the image receptor but contribute to patient risk. Therefore, it is desirable to remove the low energy photons. The removal is accomplished by a metallic disc in the path of the beam. The object is filtered and the process is filtration. Filtration can be in inherent filtration or added filtration. Inherent filtration is which the beam of the X-ray encounters before escaping the tube. The inherent filters include glass wall of the X-ray tube, insulating oil surrounding the tube, the barrier metal which prevent prevents the oil escape. Usually inherent filtration ranges from 0.5 to almost 2 mm of aluminium filter equivalent. Added filtration is supplied in form of aluminium discs which is placed over the port in head of x-ray machine. Total filtration is the sum of inherent filtration and added filtration. Government regulations require total filtration to be equivalent to 1.5 mm of aluminium for machines operating at 70 kbp and it should be 2.5 mm of aluminium equivalent for machines operating at higher voltage. Digits. Remember a term as half value layer. It is the thickness of the aluminium required to reduce by half the number of X-ray photons passing through it. So moving on to the next topic, what is a collimator? They restrict the size of X-ray beam and reduce the volume of the tissue irradiated. The process is called the collimation. A collimator is a metal barrier with aperture in the middle. Collimators are usually round or rectangular. A round collimator is usually a metal disc with 7 cm aperture diameter and rectangular collimator is usually more effective because it is slightly larger than the film size. Collimators also increase the image quality by reducing the number of photons produced by Compton scattering. And finally, what are grids? The scattered photons produced by Compton scattering result in formation of dark areas in radiograph. They reduce the diagnostic quality of the radiographic image. Grids are used to counter it and used only when contrast is necessary as they reduce film fog. But grids increase exposure time by two times and the patient exposure is also increased. What are they composed of? Grids are usually made of alternating strips of lead which is radio opaque material and plastic radio lucent material as spacers. Grids are made with varying number of pairs of spacer and absorber material for every square inch. Grids with 80 or more line pair per inch do not show the black grid lines on the resultant image. The effectiveness of the grid is usually calculated by the grid ratio. It is the ratio of the thickness of the grid to the width of the radiolucent spacer material. A grid ratio of 8 or 10 is most preferred. Types of grid. The grid can be any one of the following type linear grid, focused grid, pseudo focused grid, crossed grid, moving grid, or Potter Bucky diaphragm.